Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever felt like you've been cursed? Have you ever wondered or had that feeling as if you were cursed to like repeat something bad over and over and over again? So, I say that kind of in jest. You know, I love my sport teams, but I swear I pick some of the teams that just just every year at the end of the year they find a way to just leave me heartbroken, but I always come back next season and start again. I am a huge Dolphin fan. But Super Bowl today, got to pick a side, right? And I've found that I have, you know, the kiss of death on a lot of things. If I say, "Hey, this team's probably going to win," I probably have just cursed your team. So, I tried to be fair with it. There'll be a reveal which team I'm rooting for at the Super Bowl at the end of this video. But I tried to be fair. I said, if anyone wants to send me bribes so I don't pick your team, you know, if you if you want to tell me why I shouldn't pick your team, things like that. I didn't get a... I was expecting like floods and floods of money to come in. Didn't happen. But that's okay. Stuff happens on my hands like that, but it's okay. I've got my team. We'll have fun with it today. My niece's birthday lunch today. Looking forward to hanging out with my niece, my sister-in-law, brother-in-law. That'll be awesome. Then we're going over to a friend's house. A bunch of us are going to get together, have some great food. You know, I was, I was telling Matt last night, I said, I'm, I'm making bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers, you know, doing the little cocktail weenies. And, and, and then we have the uh, spicy dill pickle. Um, uh, boiled peanuts, you know, that we're bringing, plus a dessert, and then some drinks. We're doing, you know, old fashions and um, some blueberry Manhattan. So we'll have some fun with some stuff there. Looking forward to that. Plus, there's going to be a spread of a lot of other stuff. That's just what I'm bringing out. So it'll be a good time. Um, man, I tell you what, one thing I, I love to do is talk about other channels. Um, you know, last night it was great. I got to hang out with. Mad at Whiskey Wisdom, which was fantastic. Wade at Bourbon Hall. Um, and then last night, I got to check out Baker Drinks there live. Um, you know, and then there was uh, Washington Whiskey was on there last night. So a lot of great things, real cool stuff. Had a great time. And I'm sure I missed something. I saw that Whiskey Bank was in there. Saw a lot of other channels were in there. And I absolutely love the way they, they support each other. And you guys support me as well. Um, another channel smaller channel man but some neat stuff there this was given to me by kevin o'lear uh the the latin sip so if you haven't checked them out check out the latin sip small channel but they're you know what they're i, I love to see things like that because you're about to see it take off and i can't wait to see them take off so if you haven't had the opportunity to check them out as i mentioned earlier i was on last night and i mean it was literally like a football game last night i i had Samples one, two, three, or four, like the four quarters. Got my four Glens still over here. We had the pregame. We had the four quarters. Then we went into overtime, and then, <laughs> then we went into postgame. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun hanging out, just doing some blinds and talking trash and having a lot of fun with stuff last night. Like I said, Matt and Wade were on there. We had a really nice time with stuff. Uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to check out the live, check out the live on Matt's. Uh, always a blast. You know, a lot of people come in for the after show. We get to talk stuff. I mean, we go anywhere from bourbons and life to philosophy. I mean, we were into quantum entanglement last night. So, I mean, that just tells you how much, how deep we get when we drink, which is probably not a good thing. But we we go with it anyways, and we have a good time. Man. What is my pour today? So my pour today, this is a Southern Collective. This is the 100th barrel versary, single barrel straight rye, finished in maple cask, coming in at 115.2 proof. I went into Cheers the other day, and I had the intent on getting a specific bottle. And when I went in there, Anil said, I just got this in. And I'm like, oh, rye, maple finished? You just talked to me very nicely. So it was good. So it was fantastic on that. So looking forward to that. Oh, giveaways today. 13th Colony, cash strength rye coming in at 130, what is it? 130 point what proof? 130 point 8.3 or 8 proof, something like that. So a little bit shy of 131 proof. 
distillery only pick fantastic pour hang on to the end of the video it's very very cool because it really there's some synchronicity there which i absolutely like but let me get into this one right here their 100th barrel versary oh you get a nice rye spice right off the nose on this one you also get some uh, oak on this oh you do get that deep, rich kind of maple notes, that you, but it's more underlying. At first, you kind of get the rye, and you're getting some of uh, that barrel char and, and on that nose right there, some of the oak. And then you get that maple that's just sitting there like an undercurrent on that. Very nice. little bit of a breadiness going on there which uh, which i get in which i get in rise quite a bit I got my dolphins glen up here you know pray for me on that maybe next year guys maybe next year for 115 proof this does not come off uh in, very hot at all and it's, it's juice from indiana so the assumption is it's mgp juice in here and I love some MGP juice and anything that Southern Collective's touched. I really like their rise are fantastic to me. So I'm getting a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a chocolate, a little bit of an apple in here as well, along with the rice spice. You're getting some of a, almost like a star of anise with the maple as well. It's a lot of good things going on. Let's go ahead and give this thing on the palate. Wow. So I'm really digging this right off the rip. Sweet. It's got a great mouthfeel to it. Should have mentioned that in the viscosity. It's very oily. It's got a great mouthfeel. You get some classic rye type of spice. You get some of the peppers. You get some of the rye spice. Like I said, I got a little bit of anise on the nose, but, I, but I'm getting more of a baking spice on the palate. Just very, very fine um oak on there and so it's not even though i got it on the nose it doesn't transition heavily into the palate so it's not over drying but more of a sweet oak which is really really nice but the rye isn't like overpoweringly popping you in the face it's not super spicy and super hot it's just like hey i'm a rye and i'm here and you're getting a lot of these classic notes but they're kind of brought down a, a little bit which is super nice So the maple, you get it in here, you know, you kind of get that little breakfasty pancakey thing type of going on, kind of like if you had a whole grain pancake um, with a with a lighter maple syrup on there. You know, sometimes maple syrup can be very, very sweet, but this is like you just had a little bit of a maple syrup. So the balance is really, really good between the rye and the finish on the maple. You get that dark brown sugar type of thing going on. I do get a tiny bit of like a baked apple on the back end of this. Now I got a tiny bit of a chocolate on the nose, not really getting it on the palate. That's fine. Cause this is just like a great baked good. So it's like you're drinking this beautiful pastry almost great mouthfeel. You get the, the nice and in, uh, intensity of, I would say of a, of a rye. It's not grassy at all. Um, it's not herbal at all, but you get the spice and the pop, but it doesn't just sit there and burn on you like some rice can. And that mouthfeel on it is fantastic. Southern Collective knocked it out of the park again. Now the problem with this is, I don't know how many bottles are going to be out there. Oh, just got a little bit of mint now on the finish. Finish is about a medium finish. It's not burning you up with that 115 proof. Of course, I like higher proof things. So I always think things drink a little bit under proof to me. Um, but that's just me. I don't know how many of these they're going to have out there, which is the problem. I know that there was only a few dropped off in their nails. 
I got one. I think the others are gone already. I'm going to have to talk to them and say, if you get more of these, let me know because I would get a back with this just because I know that there's only a limited quantity of this. I know I like it. I know we won't be able to get it again. So it would be a, it would be a backup bottle for me. And I do like the, the maple finish stuff. I do like a rye. And I absolutely, you know, love MGP juice, and I and I would really enjoy what Southern Collect has done there. So for me, instant buy on this. Whew. Man, I'm talking a lot today, and it's hard to believe that I just, you know, just went to bed a few hours ago. <laughs> it's funny, uh, uh, Gandhi on there, you know, his phone died or that I don't know two something. Mine finally crapped out around three something after we were in for about five hours into into the live, but it was a good time. So winners, awesome, awesome on this. So there's two winners. And like I said, there was some synchronicity there, which I really, really like. So there's two winners. There's, there's one from the comments. You had to have 13th Colony Rocks in the comments. And then there was um, a random, you know, if you were part of the Patreon, if you're paying member of the Patreon and you hadn't won um, one, of the, we, the, one of the monthly six packs or you hadn't won, um, one of the Redwood Empires, your name was eligible for that. So the one from the comment section, which was open to everybody, 13th Colony Rocks, Jonathan Payne. Congratulations. There'll be a video on the end of this to show how that drawing went. I use a randomizer. I just put it in there, load the comments, pick it. As long as you've said that right phrase, you won. Jonathan, you won a pour, two ounce pour of this 13th Colony, cast strength rye. Looking forward to getting that to you. So, the synchronicity type of thing going on. So, last weekend, I was went up to 13th Colony, and, and I met with a member of the channel. He's also a Patreon as well. Um, Kevin, a.k.a. Skydog. And, and we just had a really nice time. Had some pours. We happened to be pleasantly surprised that this was there when we were there. We each picked up a bottle. Had some great conversations. He's also the one that put me on to the, the Latin Sip, so very excited about that. New member Latin Sip, um, so, you know, looking forward to that. Uh, but we were sitting there, and we got these, and, and when I announced the giveaway, Kevin said, don't, if I win, don't send, don't send it to me. Let somebody else have it, because I've got a bottle. Like I said, that always brings me back to how amazing you guys are. 2,000 members coming up. I've got seven bottles. Five of them were donated from you guys to give to other people. Amazing stuff. So in the in the Patreon, Kevin, you won it. But because you said, hey, let somebody else have that, I respun it. And uh, Rusty, uh, Rusty Lugnuts, uh, he won it. You know, Bourbon Syndicate. Um, I, I'm so excited for Rusty to get this. I, you know, Rusty's a big fan of the 13 Colony stuff. He's he's in Alabama right down the road from me. Got to hang out with Rusty uh, and been on some, a bunch of lives. Rusty was on with Rusty last night. Um, you'll know Rusty when you see him by whatever, whatever, whatever. I guess by whenever you hear him, but it was a blast. So Rusty, congratulations. I'm excited for you. So that leaves us down to one big thing today. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Food, drinks, important, you know, cool stuff. Not important stuff, but cool stuff. Some of you are going to be working today. I absolutely hate that you were working today. But you know what? You're providing for your family, providing for yourself. You're doing the things that need to be done sometimes. I've been there on weekends. I've had to do it myself. So hoping your work day goes by fast and you're successful. For those that have today off, I hope it just slows down a little bit. hope you have a great time with family and friends. I hope that you just have... Good meals, good pours, good conversations. Enjoy the game, whatever the outcome is. For my reveal, before I cap off here, I would just like to say, Chief Nation, good luck today. I've selected your team. My wife even has her own shirt that says, I'm supporting Taylor's boyfriend or something like that. There'll be a lot of Chiefs fans there. Um, the, my friend's house I'm going to, their daughter's a huge Chiefs fan. And I'm like, am I cursing them by being a Chiefs fan today? But I'm going to be a Chiefs fan today. I just love the way that Patrick Mahomes plays football. I try to stay away from personalities, his, his wife, his brother, all that stuff. I just enjoy the way that he plays football and he elevates his team. That's, I love that in a quarterback. So 
Chiefs Nation, uh, if I gave you the kiss of death, I apologize. You guys should have sent money or something. Didn't happen. Uh, but most importantly, all, cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.